Bufify community. Yeah, now, one question I always get asked is, what is my favorite app in the Apple Store? Well, that one's easy. It's Spoofify. Like Spotify, but a spoof. So, Spoofify. Uh, keep me smiling, please. Waz out. It's on the moon and you know I'm getting spoofified. A lot of y'all see that star means I'm certified. It's on the moon and you know I'm getting spoofified. If you give me that star, then I'll be certified. Dear spoof, dear death, put me on the charts. I need my own little picture put up with the art. And then you click the little thing and they hear me flow. They say, yeah, that boy on the moon got a glow. He say, wait a minute, can I get a microphone? I see 10 million and I'm home alone. I got in at the MC of 400. Now everybody said I bought more, I feel abundant. And I don't have to run this light cause it's turning yellow. But I can tell them right now that I'm a good fellow. Hello, they say that boy is on the moon. And everybody know that spoof of fives to the moon. It's coming soon and I think we hit 100 mil. Many devs time three and they so for real. Hey, dear Valtron, I got another rap over here on spoof and I'm uh, about to go and you know I feel explosive. They told me I gotta get it now. That people gonna notice man. I went from a previous to a little Chevy. Now I just feel like my bag's getting a little heavy. Wait a minute, man. I'm really about to keep on spitting. Cause I've been freestyle for another minute. Huh? You know I got it, man. The field is rocking. We going straight up to the moon and I'm on it. Hey, it's on the moon and I'm spoofified. I said, you know it's on the moon and I'm down to ride. And you know it's on the moon getting spoofified. 10 million hitting on the chart tonight. Hey, welcome back, crypto enthusiasts. It's your boy, Crypto Danks, back in the building. Let me bring my little camera over here so you guys can see my, my little face. I'm on the moon waiting for, for everybody else to catch up, but you probably can't see. But we've got Spoofify. We've got the team of Spoof here. Um, and we're going to just have a casual conversation, talk about what they're up to. You guys can see my screen. Welcome. Uh, Gabe, Nick, David, Zach, we got the whole squad up in here. How you doing today? Yeah, we bought five power. How are you, mate? Great to be here. Thank you for having us. <laughs> good, good. We are you want... one person, but okay. yes, we're happy to be here. They're more than welcome to join at any time. We keep it cool, casual around here. Um, but it's a pleasure to have you. You know, it's really exciting to watch your journey and from the very beginning, you know, so I want to kind of just start from there but first uh, if you don't mind maybe introducing yourselves telling us how you're involved in this project what your what your roles are and, and so on yeah for sure i'm happy to kick off um so i'm nick uh, i'm one of the original sort of three devs um that put this project together um, i'm based in australia um i kind of came up with the kind of original spoof of my concept in all honesty, I don't think we quite understood how large of a scope this project would have when we first launched it. But um, Carl and I spent a, a couple of weeks kind of um, discussing and sort of thinking about the best way to get it out there. Obviously, <coughs> at the time, we were sort of looking at this tech matter and, and seeing it sort of do great things and other projects that were sort of launching in and around the same time. So, yeah, one of the original three devs worked with um, Carl and David to sort of bring the project to life. Um, yeah, and I've just sort of, um, yeah, been in it been in it since day one, man. So you're the brainiac behind all this, it sounds like. I, I'm not the brainiac at all. I literally came up with the name. I'm just really good with puns. So I came up with the name. <laughs> cool. The name stuck. And then everybody else is kind of like managed to produce what they produce so i i just take responsibility for the name and that's it. it website design work graphics like all down to david and carl like they've done an amazing job on those and we've since um also taken on full-time graphic designer onto the team too so really good to have them all on board and and yeah the um now the sort of like senior leadership team i suppose of the project or yeah it's it's pretty stacked so yeah ha happy to happy to be involved happy to still be involved the reason that um that gabe and uh, zach and the rest of the crew are here is because they obviously think that i need babysitting <laughs> I don't talk my mouth be careful <laughs> for sure oh, i'm joking um oh. but i'll let maybe uh maybe gabe or zach introduce themselves now yeah um yeah, so my name's Gabe, or Crypto Gabriel is what I go by. 
Um, you know, I, I started out as just an investor of Spoofify. Um, you know, I heard about it from a few people uh, on Twitter that, you know, I've been networked with. I've been in, in Twitter, I mean, in crypto for, you know, a good few years now. So over the years, I've been able to build relationships with people. And uh, when Spoofify, when I came across Spoofify, you know, they told me to see the website, which you obviously have put up right now. Um, in my opinion, and, and what a lot of others' opinions were also, was that the website was just gorgeous. Uh, one, of, one of the best I've personally seen in Web3, let alone for a meme, mind you. I'm, uh, you know, super solid website. So that's really all I had to see. Um, as soon as I saw that, I didn't even go through it all. I looked at it for a good maybe seven to ten seconds and i was just like yep i'm buying um and you know su super happy that i did um you know the the team is super cool the original team you know uh nick david and and kyle uh there's they're super genuine people obviously i'm more involved now than an investor uh, i have the role of you know manager or advisor or whatever you want to call call me um uh, pretty much you know, from the investor standpoint, I was just, I always like to do anything that I can do to help, you know, people or projects, you know, if I, if I see a vision and, uh, and I like, and I like the people involved and stuff like that, I always try to do what I can to help and, uh, make them, make them succeed in any, in any capacity that I can. And so I've gotten to know the team, um, more and more as I was, you know, around. And so now I've, you know, kind of taken on a role here and, uh, you know, I'm super excited and happy to be here and, uh, yeah, excited for the future also as well. Cool. And then you said you went as crypto Gabriel. Is that what you said? Crypto Gabriel. Yeah. If you, uh, well, my handle is technically Gabe Holland on Twitter. Uh, but you know, my, uh, my actual like name and pretty much everywhere else you'll see it is, is crypto Gabriel. Correct. Cool. All right. Awesome. So you, um, brought on to kind of give advice and see where things would be, um, you know, where things fit, kind of like help with the puzzle pieces, putting everything together, it sounds like. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, ever, I mean, and we, you know, we've got, we've got Zach on here too, which he's going to introduce himself. And, you know, like, like Nick said, you know, the team's grown. There's a, a full time, basically a full time graphic designer now, uh, full stack dev. Um, you know, the team has really grown. Uh, th this community in itself is just super talented. Uh, it's really, really cool to see everybody. Everybody seems to want to get involved in some way and, and, and do their part. Uh, and, and everyone's super excited. And so, you know, through that, there's been a lot of cool, uh, you could say, pieces to the puzzle that have been added to the team that uh, have really molded it into something where the possibilities are almost endless um so of course. yeah yeah super cool. excited cool thank you thank you for introducing yourself and welcome to crypto danks crypto truth unveiled as we talk about all good and bad in crypto what about who's next go ahead david sure yeah i can jump in so i'm the uh kind of main one who created the initial website um and then also kind of one of the heavier graphic guys of us. Um, yeah, just right from the beginning, we really liked the idea. And we like Nick as well, to be honest. So Kyle and I run a marketing company. Kyle's actually in the room with me. I'm still be able to hear him because 24 seven, we're in the same room together, just working at, at our marketing company. But now that we've uh, started Spoofify, we've been you know quite busy with that and kind of loving every second of it. It's, quite the ride we've been on and we're, we're looking forward to, you know, just seeing things improve as we're getting more and more, more and more collected here and better ideas flowing. Um, but yeah, uh, any questions, happy to take them. Are you, are you telling me that we've got like, I got, I've got four babysitters up here. <laughs> like don't make me be, you don't make me become a babysitter. I, I got enough I do, going on. I, right? do, I do one other AMA yesterday. Uh, Maybe Zach wants to introduce himself. Yeah, yeah. So um, my name is Zach. I I've been in crypto since 2017. So um, you know, seen a lot a lot in the space. Uh, been through three cycles now. Um, things have evolved and changed in a, in a big way each cycle. And 
Uh, for this one specifically, I've been heavily involved in, with my focus in Solana just because that's where all the liquidity has been and that's where kind of all the day to day movement is. So, uh, you know, up to this point, I've operated as a lone wolf trader um, just to kind of better my own life. Um, my my handle is off grid XBT. Um, I I'm actually coming to you live from Starlink right now. So I live most of my my life uh, off the grid. That's where that comes from. So um, full full time crypto. Um, but I came across Spoof, um, you know, after being an early Apple investor and kind of seeing where that took, you know, some of the Solana space, meme coin space, tech meta, things like that. Um, came across Spoofify and similar to what Gabe said, you know, took a look on the website, uh, being a web guy myself was immediately drawn to that. And uh, ultimately, you know, listened to one VC with with uh, Nick and Kyle and Gabe. Uh, I don't remember if David was on that one and just really, you know, was kind of drawn to the team. I felt like they were bringing something uh, to the space that not a lot of other people do. And that's authenticity. Uh, and that goes a long way. And so I think part of that uh, to poke a little fun at these guys is that they're pretty new in the crypto space. So they're a little bit naive to things, which I love about them. And that's why I think our team's awesome because uh, they are very authentic. And so I saw an opportunity for myself to bring my, you know, everything that I've learned thus far, uh, my, my professional background being marketing as well, and try to help the team and grow Spoopify because I think the vision just resonated with me from the get go. And so I wanted to, you know, like Gabe said, offer what I could to the team to help build this. Um, utilize connections, uh, build together, and ultimately take Spoofify to a new level. And so, you know, now it, it, the project's all barely two weeks old. We've already accomplished some pretty great things. And so um, just really looking forward to building off of that and, and continuing to build the community as well. Yeah, and I think just to build on what Zach said, um, obviously Gabe and Zach have bought like a certain amount of um, crypto sort of expertise to the to the party and um obviously they uh recognized early that we were um yeah newbies in this space which i think has been both a positive um yeah it's been it's been a i think a slightly bigger positive than maybe it has um, a sort of hindrance um to me just kind of like the vision and the scope that we sort of saw for this project, I think far exceeds a lot of things that sort of exist in this space. Most things are sort of designed for, you know, last seven to 14 days. And that's kind of, yeah, that's, I mean, that's even a long time in, in this space. So um, I think certainly us sort of developing a project that could kind of go long term um, has really helped to sort of produce something of, of quality. Um, and obviously what what the uh, what Gabe and Zach have brought to the brought to the table has been um, just this crypto expertise that we uh, that we really needed. Very nice, very nice. If you don't mind, uh, and congratulations by the way. Uh, I think today you launched on Coin Market Cap. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. Very cool. Nice. That's always a nice milestone to hit, and um, you know fulfilling a portion of a roadmap if you will and and getting on your way towards the masses which is cool and and you kind of mentioned vision uh this might be kind of a broad question and and i can see so much to be done with this platform just in my own mind first of all i'm a rapper i'm a musician all most of my members and and followers they know that i make music but there's what i've seen about crypto especially in the meme coin and Solana memes, uh, people are making music now. You know what I mean? I, I've seen a lot of projects like Red the Mal and Yatoshi and countless now music and videos and, um, you know, all kinds of stuff to kind of promote and help push their project and show the passion and community behind it. But being, you know, what we imagine as Spotify, right, I guess we'll, We'll kind of obviously take it from that is you got music, you've got podcasts, you've you've got, you know, lots of different opportunities there. What's the grand vision and the scope that you're looking overall to do? Is this a platform for crypto musicians that want to I mean, where what's yeah. the what's the vision here? Yeah. So just to sort of jump in there, I think to sort of take it from the beginning. I think we obviously understood that this kind of tech meta was was pushing a lot of really good blue chip 
projects to the front of the kind of meme world. Um, and I think when we launched Boo for Fire, we sort of understood that we would have a really broad sort of um, base to sort of pull content from and also to engage with people. You know, I've said it a few times, you don't really talk to people about whether or not they like music. It's like, what kind of music do you like, right? Music is a great connector. It, it really pulls people together. So for us, we had a really broad kind of like um, archive to pull from in terms of content. But I think going one step further than that, when you sort of start to link these things to Web3, you sort of start to understand that it's, yeah, it's a tech meta and yeah, it's music. But in reality, these things are actually just kind of, um, it's more of a cultural meta, right? Like you look at art, you look at design, you look at music, you look at Web3, you look at what's going on in these spaces. It's sort of like, they're really representations of a sort of like broader cultural sort of standing. So for me, I don't think we quite understood when we launched this, just how far it could go. Um, but I think that there's a really nice kind of role that Spoofify can play in the sort of broader web three meta sort of cultural meta. Absolutely. A lot of projects when they launch, you know, I've talked, one thing about me is I always, you know, when I like a project, when I see, just in general, I think it's just my nature to want to reach out to the team, get to know the project. Because I come from, uh, well, originally Forex and then Stocks, where I was always looking at the fundamentals and like, you know, a big company that I'm trying to invest in stocks, I don't have the, the accessibility as, say, we do in the crypto space. So now being in crypto, um, I love the opportunity to engage with teams and founders and stuff like that. And and really getting to know, you know, what the thought process behind it. And what I hear a lot of them say is like, just what you said is like, we didn't realize how big this could be or, or what we were getting ourselves into. And it's kind of just a really cool thing because, you know, the community has a lot to do with that. And uh, sometimes they'll push you in, in certain directions and you'll end up being doing and being much more than you set out to be, you know. So... Pretty exciting stuff so far. I mean, what what inspired um, you to create Spoofify? Like, what are the um, like? Where did it come from? Like, is it just like, oh, we were going to create a spoof version of Spotify that's around crypto, or or how did that come about in the beginning? Uh, yeah. So I think the obviously the initial kind of play was really to join um meme kind of culture and um and this tech matter that was sort of pushing through in the last couple of weeks but um i think to be honest just kind of finding a broad enough base like if you look at what other projects are doing they've got such a broad base in terms of content like and i think tech in general is just like huge right um but for me like what are those things that you go to every every day what are the what are the apps? What are the products that we're using every day? And how do you sort of like, how do you translate that to lots of people? How do, how do lots of people buy into a meme, right? Like memes as a general are a mirror that are held up to society and they kind of throw sarcasm back at us, which is which is awesome because it, it, it allows us to not take ourselves too seriously. But I think when we were creating this, we just kind of wanted something that you know, one of those things that people went to or go to every single day, you know, you look at what other other businesses are doing or what other memes are doing and whether that's the phone that you pick up every morning, whether that's, you know, it could be the toothbrush that you're using every day, right? It's like, what are those moments that kind of like pull people together? And I think Spotify was really one of those sort of moments, right? It's very broad reaching um, and it allows us to sort of like, yeah, play on a lot of content and also yeah, um, sort of connect with a really broad base of people. Absolutely. Yeah, I could definitely see. I mean, uh, like I was saying before, a lot of the music that people have been making, I could see that being uploaded onto here. And and then it gives those other projects. Like, what's cool about your project is you are able to give other projects exposure. You know what I mean? If that's you know, where, where it looks like to me where it would be. I mean, if somebody made a song about, I don't know, soul mail or soul chat or something, they would be able to put it, go on. Like, how does, the, okay, maybe I should rephrase this. How is the, this like, how do you decide or who do you let on to make, make music on your platform or put their music on their platform? Yeah, so is there a vetting process or? 
not not at the mo- like not at the not at the moment but we're certainly we're certainly working on those things and I'm I'll, I'll just say a quick few things and then I'm sure Zach will jump in with some of the plans um, obviously yes um, there's a lot of different directions that we can push this in um, one thing that I think we've sort of um, really discussed and really love the idea of, of is creating a platform where different projects and different sort of like commentators or different you know to a point sort of influencers can come and talk um, and discuss projects and talk about projects so we can become like a centralized platform Mm. for those projects the music side of things yeah that'll definitely sort of um, involve connecting with artists and connecting artists um, with our sort of audience Um, but we think the first sort of section will really be around podcasts and um where we can sort of push that. So Spoofcast is this idea that we've come up with, and that's something that we're going to be um, launching very soon. Maybe um, Zach or Gabe want to jump in on that. Yeah, yeah. So the Spoofcast thing, um, you know, you touched on it a little bit, but one thing we want to do is support the community. So at the end of the day, you know, if you think about, a lot of people don't even realize our ticker being Spoof, what Spoof really means, and it's kind of just to like to impersonate and make fun of, which ironically in a lot of ways is like the perfect meme coin ticker because when you look at our space like we're making fun of the real world every single day i mean when you look at geo Bowden or apple or all this stuff like in a way our our you know group is making fun of real world and and making money off of it at the same time which is almost funny and ironic in itself and so spoof um when people realize what that really means, it opens up a lot of things. And so the spoof cast uh, is, is something where, you know, we want to continue to grow our community and support projects that we like, uh, have conversations with interesting people, interesting projects, keep it loose and, and kind of be a hub in a lot of ways, because if we can have conversations and, you know, you know, I guess put a spotlight on a lot of people that are trying to do what we're trying to do, uh, which is not just be another coin. We're trying to be something much larger than that, bring utility, bring real world partnerships. Um, you know, we've got a lot of stuff that's in play right now. And so the scope of what we're doing continues to grow at this point, basically every day, uh, which is exciting, sometimes a little bit scary because you're like, how, you know, how big do we really want to go here? And so, you know, the spoof cast stuff, I think, is just going to give us an opportunity to, to help broadcast other people, have really interesting conversations, and just continue to build out our community because it could be really endless, I think. Yeah, and yeah. I think just to add on that too, uh, one, of the, one of the things that we've sort of spoken about, and I think probably one of the, um, as I mentioned earlier, kind of coming into this as a bit of a crypto novice, I think gave us um, some, some really great sort of insight and maybe some things that are overlooked in in other kind of coins or by other coins um but really one of the things that surprised me the most is this sort of reluctancy for communities to engage you know i look at this as a broader sort of like meme community like we're all here because you know we're into this stuff we want to make money we've we've arrived here from different sort of um from different journeys but I think ultimately we're all here for sort of the same reason. So it always struck me as a bit funny that there's this sort of like, there's this kind of us versus them mentality between coins. So I think kind of like trying to break that barrier down and sort of produce um, content that sort of starts to link those communities will be really powerful. Very interesting. Yeah, I like, I really like the spoof cast concept. Um, having people come on and literally creating their own, you know, platform on your platform, starting from scratch. I mean, anybody can, it sounds like probably come on, create an account, you know, start their podcasting and just almost like you would on Spotify. I don't really know their rules and regulations and how all that goes, but I mean, yeah, is this in going the early to be... In the early days, it'll certainly be us sort of running the content, obviously. So Spoofcast will be sort of like our, um, will be our podcast that we're running. So we'll have a team of guys that are interviewing different producers, artists, and also, you know, different communities and coins um, and people in the crypto space. So certainly that's where it'll start. I can certainly see a world where this does sort of become a much bigger project than that. Um, But in the short term, that'll be, that'll be where we focus. Okay, cool. So you guys will be running podcasts, bringing on people for interviews from all over the crypto space. I can imagine whoever comes on, 
Um, so you haven't got totally, man. Far. We'll we'll put your we'll put your name down for one of the first ten episodes. I, I would love that. Please bring me on. It'd be a pleasure, really. You know, I well, think we'll, 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 we'll flip the script. Let's do it, baby. Nobody's yeah. interviewed me. I'm interviewing everybody else. Yeah. Um, awesome. One thing I think that's been pretty important uh, to us, kind of all the way through, has really been a focus on community here and the community that's developed in. Um, kind of these meta cultures and, and so like Nick was saying really getting to instead of be uh, more divisive more separating each other watching more and more rugs happen that people that are just uninvolved and unattached to this to this community that is a very community-based system right we're all in it for the jokes and the fun of it and you know also getting to make some money there's a lot of good cultural uh, things that have developed, but we also think that it could be a lot stronger than it is. And so if we can continue to develop one, the podcast side of it, other things of the website that make it a bit more of a cultural hub for us to be, um, you know, us releasing content, showing other people, other people's stuff and music and things like that, just really focusing on on community and the fun of it and, and, and bringing, bringing us together on those things instead of just another coin that's separating each other. That also, it helps us to kind of weed out the coins that are rugging and these new startups that are just jumping out right away, jumping shit. We get to actually build a community where the expectation is that there's a lot of dialogue happening between the dev teams and everybody else and, um, a, you know, community focused efforts. So that's the, I just wanted to add that in as, as, as kind of an important aspect for us. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I totally agree. Like, I think, um, to bring a reference in from my kind of world, I'm super into coffee, right? And I think a lot of people are super into wine. And in coffee, what we quite often talk about is the terroir, which is like the environment in which that coffee is grown. And the same would apply to wine, right? The environment in which that coffee or that wine is grown is so important. Um, so for us, like looking as at that as our community, you know, that fundamental community is what everything else is going to grow from. So focusing on that and focusing on building a really strong community and a really vibrant community at the base is going to be really important for us to sort of grow and develop and and, and sort of, yeah, go I love the, go, way that you explain go that, the distance. I love the way that you explain that because that's that, literally where, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the stuff that like the content that is on our website now, and like how Nick and I came about, or sorry, Zach and I came about um, joining the joining the team, and you know the gra the graphic designer, the full stack dev, you know all, all this stuff came from you know the community, came from you guys, and then the community grew, and you know that's where all of us came from. So what you just explained is exactly what that's an example of. So I, I absolutely love that how you explained that. It's one hundred percent true. Gabe's, yeah, a, I, Gabe's a tequila guy. I should I should also add that. I don't know how tequila's <laughs> made or produced well, you, all the importance of that. But there's, there's definitely an analogy there too. Oh, of course. <laughs> what, what you don't know is that I'm a certified sommelier. And I thought it was very interesting that I've never thought about community as the terroir, you know? So that's very interesting. Way well, it, it is in so many ways, right? Like, yeah. I mean, in in coffee we talk about it like a lot and i think people don't really understand like perhaps like the implications of it and what it means um but certainly how where and 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 why something's grown the way it is is so important to the final product so for us focusing on those fundamentals um is is really important and developing that community like i say that's that's what Having a having a vibrant and sort of like thriving community at the base is what everything else is going to build from. So that's gonna that's gonna allow us to put quality content out in in the sort of like in in the back end of this thing or as it grows. Absolutely. When you when it comes to community, I mean, there's always going to be bad apples here and there. They're gonna have to come and go. And I've seen a lot of communities, especially in the meme space. You know, some blow up, some go to the ground. And most of it has to do with the community and how the community responds. Also, how the devs, how the mods maintain the community, um, you know, making sure that you have an, an integrity inside the community. Like, uh, I'll give you an example. You know, I, as a YouTuber, I have my own Discord paid membership program. And I have had members come in that were 
just not good for the community. Like they just, you know, they're not bad people necessarily, but they don't align with our main mission, right? With our goal. And unfortunately they might act certain way. And I've had to take away thousands of dollars a month from myself to maintain the integrity of the community. And that, that is so important. And a lot of people in, in, in any space, some, they get greedy, you know, other in, in influencers or YouTubers, they get greedy. They'll just say, oh, well, they're paying me 50 bucks a month, like whatever, they can do whatever they want. But I don't see it that way. Uh, even though your community, this is obviously very different what I do from what you're doing. Having integrity, having a strong uh, community that just is kind of ride or die type of people for what we're up to and what we're doing, whatever it is, is very important. And um, that can make or break you in the end of the day, you know. Um, so I just, I thought I'd, I'd drop that in there. Is there a, yeah, so no, you I were. Agree. I, I agree. Go. I think it's, I think like, you know, ultimately where these coins sort of differ from, you know, general stocks is just the like transparency. The, as you, as you mentioned early on, it's like that accessibility to the devs, right? Like mm -hmm. if you're buying stocks or if you're buying Forex or if you're buying, you know, anything in traditional markets, it's like that just does not exist. Mm -hmm. So as, as a, as a holder, having no access or understanding as to where that sort of business is pushing is, I mean, it's a good and a bad thing, right? Like the, the, the board of directors in a traditional business aren't listening to old mate who's just bought, you know, $2,000 worth of stock to sort of see what he thinks. It's like they have a right. mission that they have designed and a roadmap and they drive that forward. So it's really hard navigating this space to make sure that we marry our vision with what our community want to see. So it's it's certainly an ongoing kind of, I'm not going to call it a battle, but it's an ongoing kind of like friction, I suppose, that just trying to make sure that we're leading in the way that we want to lead, but we're also being informed in the way we want to be informed. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, you, you said it right. And, and the thing is, community, this is one thing that kind of I've seen happen with other you know, projects is that community, they can be really pushy, right? Put, try to push you and, and motivate you and, and, and like win this, win that, win listing, win CEX, win CG, win, you know, and, it, and that can become kind of like a box of pressure that, you know, depending on how you handle it, things, you know, it's an interesting thing because that doesn't exist in stocks, like you said. So, the person who goes and buys, you know, 5K or, you know, 10 soul worth of spoof, you know, that at this stage, especially or at any stage, they're important. You know what I mean? Because this is literally from the ground up. You guys are sub 1 million market cap. You've been over and under and, and here and there. But, um, you know, these people are important and it is nice to have that accessibility as you know, an investor, as a community member, you guys are in the in the Telegram or and whatever your socials are, responding and and that's that's crucial in crypto, especially um, I think because in general, when it comes to stocks, like you said, they have their agenda, they've got their board of directors. As to where crypto and what you guys are up to, sky's the limit. You guys can do whatever you want, talk to whoever you want collab with whoever you want, meet with whoever you want. You don't have to answer anybody, you know, and that's one of the beautiful things about crypto and, and how it's kind of shaped over the last, you know, however exactly, long. Exactly, man. Yeah, like it's democratized in, 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 in a really positive way. So everybody has access and everybody can sort of, um, yeah, talk to the devs, understand the roadmap and, and sort of help to sort of sculpt that roadmap as well. Um, yeah, I don't know if Zach or, um, or if Gabe, you've got anything to add to that? Yeah, I mean, I was just going to say, you know, crypto, it's interesting because, you know, obviously, if a, if a company was two week old and you bought a, a penny stock, um, you're not going to expect 10x returns in a matter of two weeks. It's just never going to happen. Um, but that's why our space is special, because that that is a possibility and people do hit those returns every single day. Um, the difference, I think, most importantly between us and a lot of these other uh, meme coins, which again, like we have nothing against anyone else. In fact, we want to promote everybody else. And that's what our goal is here. But the difference is that uh, we're not making any false promises. We're not trying to, uh, you know, 
over deliver and under promise. Um, we're just going to continue building every day and the community that we've already established over the past two weeks that have, you know, ridden with us through the highs and through the lows uh, says a lot. And ultimately, you know, when you look at any chart, um, a chart tells a story and I could tell you, you know, on every pump that we had and every dump that we had exactly probably why that happened. Um, and I think it's kind of funny because, you know, you can't necessarily always say that in the stock space and the way that money moves, but you know, one thing in full transparency that I think that maybe hurt us a little bit early on, which was just, um, you know, something that the guys didn't know is that they had created this spoof website prior to launching the contract address. And so there was already eyes on our project before it ever went live. And so we had some people that didn't really care about the project, right? People are looking to snipe the launch and, and turn it and burn it and keep going. And so, you know, I'm someone who I'm on chain a lot and I know how to read Saul scan. And I take, you know, I, I take a lot of time and read into those kind of things because it tells a, a story about, you know, the background of a coin and holders and things like that. And so we've weeded out a, a massive amount of wallets who just got in really early and wanted to sell on every pump and, and had no interest in the project. And now what you're seeing in our chart, uh, you know, is some stagnancy for a while, but we get good, you know, today we announced coin market cap for example and all of everyone's excited and things start to go up and you can see that we're just building like we're not just it's not just a pump and a dump a pump and a dump like right. we're actually in the community here and that i think speaks volumes to what we're doing long term like we're not going anywhere we have a long-term vision we're going to work at it we've got a team we're accessible we're available and most importantly we're transparent so um i think that's why i was mostly excited about trying to join these guys and build with them because not a lot of projects operate that way. Absolutely. Yeah, especially especially in the you know in the, in the Solana space. I mean, you know, there's so many projects every single day that you know we see come and go, or maybe they just you know they rug right away or something, or you know they have a good launch but then it goes down. You know, in a in a, in a scenario like ours, you know, we launched launched with a success, huge success. Then, you know, we dipped down quite a bit because of, you know, a lot of the stuff that Zach just touched on. Um, whereas, you know, a lot of other teams in that circumstance probably would have just walked away. And, and so I, I so and that's really what, and when that happened is really when the team got bigger, got stronger um, and uh, the vision became even more clear and large. And, and that's when the community got even stronger too. the the uh, the community definitely you know, held the ground just as much as, you know, we did and, you know, the original dev, t dev team did. And so that, I think, just really showed people, you know, that not only are we, uh, you know, authentic, but, but we, we, we aren't going anywhere. We really do have a, a long-term vision, uh, like Zach just said, and, and it, it's, it's super exciting to look forward to. Absolutely. And just that just to add on to that, which is, this is crazy. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but we lost our Twitter account like the very first week that we launched, which That's like right. imagine trying to launch like a, 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 essentially a meme coin like this and then losing everything within a matter of days uh, after running to like a 4 million cap. So like people thought that we were going to disappear. We weren't going to get our Twitter account back. You know, like we had the kitchen sink thrown at us in the first days and you know what our community was able to do was watch how we were able to respond to that adversity and like we got on top of it uh we immediately made obviously another x account um eventually got ours back which is awesome um you know we've got our gold check coming anytime now oh, so cool. you know we've had some things to to overcome and you know a lot of projects would have gone to zero after some of these things happened and so you know, operating a brand new coin and trying to get exposure with no X account, um, you know, having to update things and go go through all that has been super tough. But I think that just, in my opinion, says even more about what it is that we're trying to do here. Yeah, I can imagine you go, you put your stuff, pay the money for deck screener and all that, and then boom, Twitter accounts. Oh, now we gotta do send them an email, update it. Oh, now we gotta send them another email, update it back again. It's like. I can imagine that that can be tough and and this you know it can be deflating you know you see yourself get up to what it looks like maybe four million market cap getting close to half a million all the way down to half a million i mean it can be deflating you know emotionally you put in all this work 
and then you see a 93% drawdown. And but this the this this area right here is where it's either go time or we just shut it off. You know what I mean? And and a yep. lot of projects they just I don't know if it's ego or if it's just like I don't know what it is. Like there's a, I've seen and talk to devs where they just they get pissed off at the community and it's not the community it's just these people with these banana bots and photon etc they get in right here and they just just start you know because it's if it, it's fair launched right you did did you do a pre-sale or no nope it's totally fair launched yeah oh, i said free launch fair launch yeah so it's fair launch so when you get in right here it's so cheap you know what i mean so they put in 500 bucks, it runs up, they make, you know, $80,000 or something just ridiculous. And and that's yep. really what they're in it for. They don't care about anything else. And can you blame them, really? I mean, if you put in 1000 bucks and it turns into 140 k you can't blame some of these people. It's business. In the end, it's crypto. You know what I mean? Yep. So it's a zero-sum game, you know. But what happens down here and the work that's put in is what sets apart a project from others, you know, and and I see the growth and I see that you guys have been working and I've actually, I think you guys have made some developments as well to the website throughout this process, if I'm correct. Yeah, now, for sure. What are the, um, now I see, I don't think that these songs are actually available yet. Is that correct? It's just like one song that plays the same one on all of these or are these available at this time? Yeah, I can speak to that. So the website itself, obviously, recognizing that was one of the things that um, kind of draw people to us and our skills in web development. Like as a marketing company, we have a lot of websites behind us, the ones that we've made professionally. And so we think that that's still, um, you know, one of the main things that we can do well and better than anybody else. Um, specifically on the page as it sits, there's a lot of kind of behind the scenes development that's currently happening on the site. We're excited for where it is going, but in a couple of these areas, like those top ones, those are the community suggestions um, that aren't connecting to actual songs. The ones on the bottom are still the Rickroll ones. Um, and then of course, if you scroll to the top, we also have the new podcast section that's being developed as well. We really want to come in strong with these things ready um, to go when they are. Uh, so that we can make a proper impact and not do little updates, but actually show real new material, real uh, new infrastructure to the site um, that allows for either songs or the podcast to be used more intuitively. Obviously, the website's initial design was as a spoof of Spoofify, and it's supposed to be just for just fun for people to look at and kind of see it. Now that we're getting a little bit farther, realizing what the site can be um, and all the, the things that we can add to it, the fun things that we can add, but also the kind of more utility side of entertainment um, and, and podcasts that can be added to the site. We're, we're doing quite a quite a big refresh um, over time, and we're really excited to release that when it's ready. Yeah, it's kind of funny to think, like, if I put myself in your guys' shoes, like, launch the landing page, it looks cool, start a community, Twitter, launch the, te you know, Telegram, and then then all these ideas start coming out. I mean, I'm just myself imagining literally crypto Spotify. Like, that's what I see. I see that being a possibility because there isn't one anything like this. You know what I mean? So that I know of. I know that they've tried like Patreons and different types of things similar. But um, this right here has a lot of potential in my opinion. None of this is financial advice, of course, but I, th I think... <laughs> That you guys are, you know, even, especially if down the road, you know, you're hosting other podcasters and there's utility built into them and somehow they get paid. I don't know, you know, the details if that's even been thought of yet, but there's a big opportunity that I see for your team and for this project. And when I saw it after, because I, I found out about you guys later uh at, after this downfall here and this is when i did a little research and i got in right around here because oh, i felt bottom. i did <laughs> i bought the bottom and i got i told my community i wonder if i can pull up the time in the day i, I put a buy alert out and some of my members if they want to get in 
you know, I told him it's you know, higher risk, but I think that it's undervalued. That is my main goal in crypto in general is finding undervalued projects. I've done it with so many and been able to help, you know, make others a lot of money as well. So it's really interesting because I did feel that way. And I think if it's going to head in the direction that I, you know, I imagine it could, then I would, I would be right for sure on the undervalue, even now at 1 million, this is nothing yeah. for what you guys could do. Oh, it's, yeah, it's massively undervalued. We, we, we all agree that for sure. Um, I think that little sort of section that you were just highlighting a moment ago, to me, that's like to bring back that same analogy. That's just our, us tending to the tower, man. That's us like, you know, doing the weeding. That's us prepping the soil. That's us doing all of those things that really need to be there for this sort of thing to grow. Um, obviously, the kind of the reach that this project can have is that we can start to sort of have an impact on the broader meme community and hope that's and and sort of encourage that to grow in the right direction to and to promote good projects you know to hopefully start pushing good projects um to 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 our audience and connecting communities and i think that's really the exciting thing that's that's the exciting thing for me very cool um, as an investor and for maybe speaking on behalf of other investors, uh, is what is like holding the spoof spoof token, like besides just investing in being a part of the community, do you have anything built in as far as utility, you know, airdrops, um, anything at all that maybe would appeal f to an investor, um, to accumulate besides just for gains? if you will. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I can speak to that right now. You know, we're not, um, we're not making any, sorry, my, my dog's seeing a squirrel out there. Um, we're not making any huge promises because what we are working on is something that when we drop it, we want it to just be, we want it to be what it is. We want that catalyst to be its own catalyst, not an announcement of an announcement or a false promise. Sure. Um, we will say that, you know, you've, you've started to kind of, as you've poked around our website and started to get a little bit of an idea of the vision of what we could have here in terms of utility uh, for other podcasts, being a hub uh, for, you know, current memes and the space and just what everything, what that entails there. There's certainly going to be, you know, in the future, a benefit to holding spoof and how that could benefit, you know, people that are, that are involved in the project, not just from a speculative point. Um, so no promises right now, but we're certainly, we're certainly looking at all angles of that and, and how we can deliver the highest form of utility for people that believe in us. Definitely. I can imagine. I think we'll, we'll go ahead. Just please. to comment on that too. I think when I came into the meme space, my view was very much like, why do people expect memes to have utility like it does not make sense to me the the, the meme is the utility right like and, and sure. really the team behind that are are responsible for sort of pushing that coin and really the only options that you have in that space is to sort of yeah hype i suppose um so for us like finding a really strong utility early in this project i think has just massively opened up the scope as to where we can go and how quickly we can get there so i'm very excited um i think the spoof cast trying to yeah connect communities um will be really powerful in this space um and and yeah i i think i think ultimately the utility will sort of pay dividends to the to the holders of spoof just in in its inherent value increasing obviously certainly i mean what what i've seen from a few um, meme coin projects. Well, this is the thing is like how many dogs and cats can people G in and out of, you know, you're going to eventually get tired of the same old thing. I mean, obviously it's kind of like crypto casino, if you will, but at the same time, I've started to see certain projects develop utility, even though some of them haven't done that well, you know, it's something that I've started to see uh, becoming like not a standard yet, but I could see utility becoming a standard for quality meme coins or blue chip meme coins. For sure. You know? 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think just to just to put one quick comment in there, I think there's a real definition, there's a real defining line between what I would refer to as novelty and utility. Like to me, yeah, going on a website that has what you might refer to as utility, I might refer to as novelty, it produces an image or it produces a tweet or it produces like something for you. That to me is a novelty. That's just a selling factor of that coin. Yeah, it just makes the website more engaging. But true utility, like I, I think that's a much harder beast to sort of conquer. And I think that's definitely sort of where we're heading. Definitely. I did see one project. I'm not going to name drop any other cryptos in here, but I did see they built a, it's a meme coin and they built uh, a game. And when you play the game, you pay to play, but every single token that's paid, it's like five cents or something to play the game. Those tokens are 100% burned, you know? That was a unique utility that I saw. I seen another crypto uh, meme coin project where they implemented a uh, liquid staking protocol into there. You know, so these are different little things and ideas that people are coming up with that I can definitely see down the road some true utility being built into some of these projects. And you guys have the platform to do anything you want, honestly. And, and I'm really interested and curious to see down the road um, what develops, to be honest. I'm just excited to, to watch the journey. <clears throat> well, and one thing that's super interesting, you know, I can say with certainty that there are multiple people, myself included, that, you know, are invested in Spoof, that are invested in Whiff, that are invested in Apple, that are invested in whatever. You know, we have all these different coins that cross over within our portfolios and starting to have interesting conversations with some of those projects on the Spoof cast. You know, I can see you mentioned things of like airdrops, for example, right? So, you know, if you have a project on that, um, you, you've got holders that are both Spoof spoof holders and holders of that project suddenly the airdrop up or opportunities open up or benefits open up for people that are holding those projects um you know a lot of a lot of uh spotify is ad revenue right so replicating things like that you know is the opportunities are endless and um you know we can't speak too much to that right now but like nick said you know our, our things that we're looking at in terms of actually delivering real utility and not just what people are claiming to be utility is where our goals lie. Definitely. Yeah, I'd be interested to see what happens down and uh, sooner and later and, and all of that. Do you guys have, um, do you, as far as the, do you want to get into the tokenomics at all or how that was structured? I didn't look at, uh, look it up, forgive me for that. I mean, is, is, um, it was a hundred percent fair launch. Is that correct? You have like a marketing bag, I'm sure. And, for listings and liquidity and stuff like that, I take it. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a marketing bag that we've got set aside. We haven't even touched um, because we're trying to be very strategic with that. Um, you know, one thing you'll notice when you look at our project, I'm not sure if a lot of people really really take note of, is that our liquidity percentage is very very high, and that is 100% burned and locked. So when you compare our locked liquidity to other projects like ours with the same market cap, I would. I would be willing to guess we're probably in the very top percentage of that, which I think says a lot as well. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So it's, you locked the liquidity or you, you burned it. You said locked, I think, right? Yeah. And then what's the locking uh, amount of time that you've locked for the first round? <laughs> well, there aren't rounds. I mean, so all of, an X amount of coins were sent to radium upon contract launch. And those are, those are, those are burned forever. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's gone. There's no no opportunity for a rug at all, which is uh, awesome. No, 0% zero, zero chance of that. There's no possibility. So that's what, you know, when I talk about authenticity and what we're trying to do, like when people actually sit down and look and, and take a deep dive into what this project has been structured as in terms of a fair launch, in terms of, you know, how that liquidity is locked and, and burned and things like that, like there's there's no opportunity for us to rug, right? Like we're just trying to build something amazing. And, and, um, I think when you start looking at some of those things, you know, the actions have reflected that. Absolutely. Do you have a, um, like, so on the site, obviously you've got community, uh, suggestions and stuff like that. Let me get back to the main page. So, um, are we, so you're going to be, I'm assuming you're going to be, 
actually putting music out. Is that correct? Or is that still, we're not sure yet. One of the, like, we love the idea. Um, the, the issue with that is obviously it's a slow burn. And so as we grow our community, we expect more people can, can be sending us their music um, and kind of making partnerships with it. So that's something that's going to have to develop over time as we see uh, the community enjoying it or liking it or wanting to contribute to it. Um, we've really, we've been really happy with the music so far. And if anybody wants to send us their stuff, we're really happy to add it to it. That's the whole focus of the website. Like we said, is community is community focused, community driven as well. And so it's what, what the community asks for us to have on the site, what it feels like the, uh, that we need culturally. Um, that's what we're going to be adding. And so the more we get music from people, the more people are asking for music, the more we're going to lean into the music side for the website. Um, currently, the content that we've been doing on uh, Twitter, right, and um, basically all the content we're adding, we want to add that to the website and have uh, nice galleries of all of these images that we've done. We want to be pushing the uh, podcast side of things as well, because we've had a lot of people asking about that, and we see a lot of growth there. And we're happy to continue with music as well, as much as the community asks for it. Absolutely. So right now, to me, what it sounds like is we're looking at spoof cast is kind of the driving force behind where we're going with this for now i would say uh tied spoof cast is is a huge one for us and there is a lot of focus there um but we also have been developing a ton of content um just in general on twitter and graphics and our different images they're all you know pretty high-end generation say like the series that we're doing with uh, famous people wearing our spoof headphones those kind of things we want it to also be a collection of those so mm. we've been working hard in the back end um, from that capacity as well. Um, I'd say, yeah, music, on the other hand, is one that we're happy to go as much as we're able to, but we're more tied to, to, um, to the community's involvement for that. Essentially, just to jump in there, essentially music is just a much bigger beast, right? Like for yeah. us, if we if we want to launch something kind of more instantaneously or more quickly, Spoofcast is a way that we can do that very quickly and start connecting communities, grow our community, and ultimately deliver a better community and better sort of project for um, musicians to be a part of down the road. So certainly music is something that we really want to sort of engage with to see. Um, the Spoofify token sort of just leans into that so naturally. Um, but right now, Spoofcast is a way that we can um, produce content, get some conversations happening um, and really engage with the broader community much more quickly. Um, and then that'll allow us to deliver sort of, yeah, better quality of content and better quality music down the road. Yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine, I can only imagine the headache that would come with music, copyright, you know, then you start dealing with, you know, who knows what that, can of worms opens up you know agents and god who knows honestly i can imagine yeah for sure <laughs> like most of the most of the musicians that we're sort of talking to and dealing with are obviously based in web3 they're producing and releasing their own music so it's certainly a little bit easier but what we don't want to do is like maybe hinder bigger opportunities that those musicians have and also mm. deliver like deliver their music in a way that's appropriate and really sort of flattering to to the to the quality of what they're producing so we want to make sure that they've got a really great audience to put their stuff out to um and make sure that our our audience is going to respond to it in a really positive way absolutely yeah very cool I, yeah, thanks. Uh, I'd, love, I'd love to get your perspective like when you've looked at all of our content i know you're kind of scrolling through it right now um you know what kind of stuff do you feel like has resonated with you best or like what are your overall thoughts because i think what a lot of people don't realize is how much effort and time actually goes into the content we create like a lot of this stuff is hand drawn we're trying to do stuff that like resonates with communities and and might be like culturally iconic like the, the muhammad ali photo you're looking at right now that we kind of we kind of dreamed up um you know what is your perspective on all that i think it's awesome i think that just the fact that in-house alone you have the ability to create this you know hand-drawn slash digital art just from your own side is amazing i think also having community give their you know their their your community 
can create art as well, you know, and having them featured on your, whether it's your X account or on Spoofify itself in the gallery, as you were saying, would be a very unique thing. You know, obviously, if you want to host other people's art as well, as long as it's, you know, there's, they're not expecting like some type of payback or unless you maybe build something to integrate with artists that are just like kind of a part of your squad that helps produce art for the uh, platform. But what I, what I'm looking at, what I'm seeing is I'm seeing a, a team that cares and I'm seeing, I'm seeing hard work. You know, this is like, you know, it almost doesn't feel, it is a meme coin at its, at its core, but it doesn't necessarily feel that way or it doesn't even have to turn out to end up being that way. And um, the way that, you know, I just love, I love Joe Rogan. I've been watching him for years. So this actually resonates with me in the way he just kind of, you know, the way he's looking and, and these, these headphones in general, I think the art is very, very cool. It's got this Grand Theft Auto feel to it. Um, you know, those little cut scenes in GTA. I don't for know sure. if you, if you've seen, you probably have. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. and I, I can tell, you know, and that's why I bought in is because like I said, I felt like it was undervalued because I can see that this stuff takes time, effort. You know, you're doing, you did a Beats headphone giveaway, right? So, I mean, these are things that are not just, not everybody's doing or hardly anybody's doing anything like that. So, I think you're on the right track. I personally would like, I, I think that if you can somehow, without it getting too messy, get people with, their music that just want a lot of people like they just have this you know want to make music and they are passionate about a crypto they put you know a couple hundred bucks in and they just want to share their passion right and i think it would be very cool for just those people that want to come on to the platform have their little 15 minutes of fame and you know that would be very very cool also having other people come on and host podcasts but i can i already can imagine it's not as easy as i just say oh just have them do it because then you you're, there's developing on the back end that has to be done there's possibly sure. contract stuff and paperwork yeah but absolutely and for us i think just sorry to cut you off there just no, right it's now fine. it's also around controlling the narrative right like we can't just open this thing up to be community submissions because we see how these things go on launch. And it's like, if you let a meme coin just sort of fall into the hands of the community, there's like 400 voices pulling in 400 directions. So for us, it's just sort of like controlling that narrative to a point where people understand what we stand for. And then they can sort of start to build on that and we can start to connect with the with with, with musicians and hosts, with podcasters, with designers that sort of share our vision. Absolutely. Yeah, I love it. I think that you're on the right track. Uh, if there was any and and this is um, this is a great start, you guys. How long has it been? It's been what it's two, uh, weeks. two weeks. So yeah. barely two weeks. And you guys have come a long way. Longest two weeks of my life, I should add. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. I can only imagine, especially going through this and then the down and then up and then this is a lot of emotion that gets tied into if I'm sure when it's your project, just watching it. And, um, and now I got, you know. I, I got through a lot of beer and I think Gabe's got through <laughs> a lot of tequila in the first two weeks, man. It's uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a ride, but look, we've really enjoyed it. And I think like you say, like probably the most rewarding part of this is, I mean, it's it, 10 AM here. I woke up like four or five hours ago and to see the chart just absolutely responding to, this news of us being on CMC is just huge. And like, you really sort of start to see that these people that have been in our chat since day one and have been engaged with the project and just almost ignored the chart, like to see them get mm. rewarded this morning has been, has been huge to me. So it's made, it's made the last two weeks all worth it. Absolutely. And going back to the community thing, I think, um, number this is in you know obviously the community is a big part and and just how the community is taken care of and and you guys are in communication with them one thing I've noticed about meme coins that are different than like 
you know, something like a, like a true, like blockchain solving, you know, utility pro project, you know, if, in the end, the team is the one that's selling the, to the community, the, the passion behind it. Cause you guys bring out the passion you're showing that you're putting in the work you're here every day grinding and the community will also follow. If the team and the devs and, and stuff start to slowly disappear or things don't, you know, this just, just happens with meme coins. If things don't progress, then people might start, stop losing interest. Some people will not, you know what I mean? So we'll just have to see how far you guys are willing to take it and um, how far your community is willing to ride with you. We, I'm we, here. we, ex we exist in a world of people who just kind of go flip from one shiny object to the next right so yeah look i think i think the good news is that we've gone through that phase of being this like kind of shiny thing um but it's what it's allowed us to do is consolidate our community build something really special um and also let's let's be honest build out a team of guys that are driven to and, and really want to see this project succeed so i mean that's yeah we're in a really good spot right now and i'm, I'm really happy with, with with where we're going Absolutely. Well, and to, just to add on to that, I've always said price and sentiment typically match each other. Um, you'll find that in any telegram. You know, if, if everyone's wondering when or why or, or where is someone or whatever, price typically matches. But, you know, right now, if you go into our telegram and you take a look, I mean, everybody's hyped today, right? Like we're doing the, the three beats giveaway. Those were announced today. Um, we've got, you know, a point market cap listing. And like this is just a very very beginning of something much larger than a lot of people realize and so yeah it's been a roller coaster ride for sure the last couple of weeks going through all this and and the the waves of high and low but like we're just you know we want to reiterate how thankful we are for the people that have stood by us people like yourself that have shared with others that you think were mispriced um you know and hopefully some of those people took your advice at the bottom there because that was a pretty stellar <laughs> buy i'd say Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's just what it is, man. I see it. I get in and, and we'll, we, I'm along for the ride. And um, this is a pretty cool thing. So it's been it's been an exciting couple of hours here this morning. I woke up. I didn't even know, you know, I, I saw the saw the coin market cap um, information and all that. And that was so exciting. So, you know, I um I'm, I'm happy for you guys. I'm proud of you guys. And I think that as a team, you sound very cohesive. And I think that you guys have a long, a long, prosperous journey ahead of you. Uh, any last words you want to say to just the viewers out there? We've got 335 live viewers right now across platforms. Anything you want to say to any of them? Sheesh, the, the nerves would have been so much higher if I knew we were going out to that many people, man. Um, <laughs> No, look, uh, really just a big shout out to yourself for um, for hosting. We really appreciate it. Obviously, um, to give you some context too, I think we, we, we spoke maybe, I want to say a week ago about doing this. And then we, we actually put it off because of the Easter long weekend. And I was a bit worried that I wasn't going to have the time to sort of really sort of come in and, and, and talk to you. Um, and really do this sort of thing justice. And then obviously our, our, our chart tanked a lot since then so even for yourself just like holding the line and just sort of being a part of our community um it means a lot it means a lot that regardless of where our chart was this morning you still were invested in in discovering more about this project so super happy to be here thank you very much for uh for including us and yeah we uh we look forward to having you on uh spoofcast very soon yeah i look forward to it thank you so much for joining, I don't know if anybody in the chat, nobody really asked any questions. Um, so I guess we'll probably wrap it up. It's been a pleasure. You guys are up 122%, but you know, one thing I will say is it's not just about the price, price action. Yeah, it can we, you know, show uh, some sentiment, but at the end of the day, put your, if you're gonna invest in a project, put your money in, go to the moon, go to the dirt. It's either one or the other for me and um, I'm excited to watch you guys grow. So I'll be here along the way. And when that call comes for me to go on Spoofcast, I'll be there. Love it, man. Thank hey, you thank so you so much for having us. Really appreciate yeah. it, man. It's been it's been a pleasure. Absolutely. Yeah, super Anytime. has been a pleasure connecting with you. So yeah, again, just like what they said, we appreciate it a lot and look forward to the next one as well. 
Yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll have to do a, uh, a an update, a follow up in a couple of months or weeks or whatnot. Would love to, man. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and end it. Thank you, everyone, for Thanks, watching, man. joining, and uh, hit that like, subscribe button. Go over to Spoofify at Spoofify Token. And um, let's ride the wave. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys, for joining.